This is the second part of our Verse 3D Basics tutorial and we continue to uh, create uh, our Verse 3D interactive application uh, with a nightstand model. Uh, in the previous part we managed to create a new project and uh, replace it the in default cube blend file with a starter file for a nightstand model and exported it so that it now looks like uh, uh, this and uh, in this part we will continue to improve our scene and we will work with the light and the camera okay so uh, let's begin by hiding this environment sphere uh, from the viewport and from the render because we don't need it right now now we got a lamp uh, in our scene which we will switch to sun type in the lamp setting so switch it to sun and uh, we, we don't notice anything actually because we need to switch to uh, render it view and uh, also making sure that we are in the EV mode. EV is a real-time render of uh, Blender 2.80. We also can work with the Cycles renderer, which is not real-time, but uh, in the older Blender version we can only use Cycles. So we are now in Blender 2.80 and we will be using Eevee, right? So what we see now is a much brighter rendering and uh, we can quickly check it how it will be looking in verse 3D by clicking this button, sneak peek. So let's click it. Okay, so we don't see our environment sphere anymore and the model looks much, much brighter. Okay, let's close it. Return to Blender. And let's set up the view. And we will set up the view by selecting the camera. And go into view cameras and selecting active camera or we can just press zero uh, on our numpad keyboard and it will do the same so active camera so what it makes it setups are the view from the active camera now let's set up the actual view so to do this interactively we can uh, use the following trick let's enable lock camera to view uh, in this panel right so we are uh, enable this so after that we can uh, interactively move uh, our viewport as usual so by uh, for example by pressing uh, middle uh, mouse button or wheel and moving uh, until we set up a proper view so so that we like it so uh, let us make it like uh, viewing from this side for example so 
in the original application it's uh, the default view is uh, like uh, from from this side right so let's repeat it um, that like something like this okay and by uh, pressing shift key on the keyboard and uh, using the middle mouse uh, button we can pan a bit so that it uh, sent so that it becomes centered right and instantly check it in verse 3d click uh, and we see yes it is uh, much bigger in the viewport but the camera looks uh, at the origin at the origin instead of looking somewhere in the middle of the model so why is that and this is because uh, blender does not offer a target camera which uh, is uh, which has an orbit point around it uh, the camera moves so uh, because of this uh, verse 3d offers the settings for setting this origin and this can be done by going to uh, camera settings and then in the button where is a panel called verse 3d settings for the camera where we can set up that target right so uh, and to understand where should be our targets we can use the following trick we, we can just click uh, cursor here uh, and uh, enter the cursor mode and place our cursor with the left mouse button uh, somewhere in the middle of the model uh, and we actually can uh, tweak the cursor um, coordinates manually make it uh, more like nice for example by using zero here and zero uh, along the well, y-axis also and uh, uh, using like uh, point 0.4 for the z coordinate so this is where our cursor is now uh, and let's just translate it to the camera setting by selecting the camera so we switch back to select uh, select the camera here or in the outliner here so we can select it here and use uh, the coordinates we found so we found that the best coordinates is are 0 0 and uh, 0 0.4 as our target setting so let's sneak peek and see that it actually now uh, looks uh, like uh, in the middle of a model but maybe we need to make it a bit lower and shift the orbiting point uh, to the front of the model so that it's uh, for nicer effect so let's do it so we change it uh, to point three, and uh, let's say make it a bit uh, orbiting uh, around the front surface of the model. So let it make it uh, like uh, point two, for example, point two, and sneak peek. Oops actually it is um, um, well well actually it uh, it should be minus 
because uh, the y-axis uh, is, uh, as we can see here, by switching to the move mode, y-axis is negative here on the front, so we need to make it negative y. So let's check it. Okay, so this is how we want it. So uh, in this part we uh, uh, set our light and set our camera and we can move to further parts. Thank you for watching.